Hello, I'm Vince White. I'm an employment attorney. I'm answering publicly posted questions on Avo.com, trying to get folks the answers they need from an employment attorney, right? Here's our question. This is a sexual harassment question. Um, I have questions about how to document potential sexual harassment at work. Great. That is a really smart question to be asking. Here's the rest of the question. A friend of mine recently told me that a coworker of hers recently made some comments that while in themselves were not inappropriate, the vibes she, were, she was getting were such that she thought her male coworker would in the future be sexually inappropriate in the workplace. Uh, the company she works for is a small company. There's no HR department, and she's a new hire. So she doesn't want to start an issue over a minor borderline flirtatious comment. Um, I don't really think there's too much room for flirtation in the workplace, but that's obviously her choice. Everyone has a different comfort zone. As everyone is working remote, they have one-on-one -on -one conference calls with this individual, this guy, and, and this person's friend. And that is where he made some of the comments. That's really common. So um, before COVID, before everybody was remote work, besides the essential workers, something really common was, you know, uh, sometimes the sexual harasser makes the comment in the elevator or, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. It's always it's always one-on-one. -on -one. They don't want to create witnesses, right? Um, <clears throat> let's see here. Uh, comments are just like, sending chatty emails or saying, hey, you're way too pretty to turn off your webcam. The clients rather would rather look at you than at me. Well, I don't think that's that. I think that's very inappropriate. I think that that is over the line of sexual harassment. But, you know, again, it's her. She's the one who decides, not me. Uh, I suggested that she start a file and a record date, time, and setting when these incidents happen. And then write a longer memo style note about exactly what was said the setting, how it made her feel, and then use a filing system so that each memo can be linked to the time, date, and incidents. And then she can upload and store them in the cloud after every incident so they're always going to be protected. That way, if she needs an attorney later, she's going to have this all laid out, dates, times, everything. So you, you win the award as best friend in the world if you're being sexually harassed because everything you're saying is genius. Um, listen, you might... You might want to look in the local laws about making an audio recording as well if these are on or, or just recording a Zoom or virtual meeting, whatever it is. Uh, to the extent that that's legal, great idea in, in your locale. But yes, everything you said is genius. Um, even you went a little extra further. You, you went to the stuff that actual employment attorneys say. It's not just when did it happen and what happened. We want to know who was present, where were you, what was going on. What corroborating incidents, uh, you know, where they, how did you know what time it was? Uh, how did you feel? How do you felt is important because let's not forget part of the damage of sexual harassment in the workplace is the emotional damage. That's one of the things that you could potentially receive money for from a judge or jury or in settlement, the, the emotional damages, because there's someone trying to make your body at issue, trying to leverage disparate power, trying to hit on you. In the place where you earn your livelihood, where you earn the money that feeds you and your, potentially your family, right? That's horrifying. That's really disturbing. That is someone trying to trap you or to, or to use the fact that you need that job against you to hit on you, right? So you're giving the best advice ever. Um, uploading it to the cloud is great, but keep a local copy as well. Can't stress enough. Just... The more places you can protect that safely, the better. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else I can add here. Yeah, I, I would really look at saving copies of those virtual conference calls, or at least screenshotting. Yeah, here's the big thing. Here's what I. Here's my ad. Here's here's where I actually help you. Uh, you're getting these chatty emails, right? Or you're getting chatty instant messages through the through the chat app on the conference call, virtual whatever software yeah screenshot those screenshot those save those forever if he's making comments like oh you're too pretty to turn your webcam off client doesn't want to look at me they want to look at you no no that's not he's over the line already and if that was in writing screenshot that save that forever if you decide you want a case that's that's valuable that's gold 
in terms of helping your case, okay? Um, you're going to have follow-up questions. Your friend might have follow-up questions. If I can help, I want to. I want to give you answers. Um, if you do feel like I helped you, consider to like and subscribe down below. It helps me to help more people just like you and your friend. Good luck. And good job. You're a good friend. <laughs>